Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel and another fantastic property tour that we have prepared for you. Let the detailed drone shots begin. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the intro. Now we are in a very special home and I'm super delighted to show it to you guys fully. This is an exclusive rental listing by Swish and we're gonna be showing you everything that you can have in your dream holiday. Starting with the front of the house, we're gonna be discovering seven bedrooms, just under 3,000 square meters of beautifully botanic gardens, like the two olive trees that we have there, which are over 100 years old each. Fascinating. Now, there's a lot to show. Garage is over there. We'll come to all of that later. I would say I'm going to take the main entry into the home and show you what we find inside. Let's go. Beautiful pivoting door enters you right into the main area of the house. And what greets you immediately is this architectural feature in the ceiling that welcomes you in with this really nice design. What we have here is a living room of a dream. We have a vaulted ceiling, we have the exposed wooden beams. The entire interior design of this property has been done by Pedro Pena, a local star interior designer, and he has done a fantastic job. And the kitchen at the far end, we'll come to all of that later, because first, bedrooms. We have seven bedrooms in this house. Four are located here. Two are in a separate house. Yes, we're gonna to be touring two homes on this big plot. Now here we have the little niche for your kids to come and enjoy a movie, nicely sunken in the ceiling height is a little bit lower here, giving you that cozy feeling, television set up up front, wallpaper from left to right, and once again, the entire interior design is throughout, big couch, and bedroom number one, two, and the third one there. Which one should we start with, Patrick? The first one. That one? You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Love the coffee table, by the way, with marble as well. Here, open shelving as well. There's a lot of millwork going on in this house and a lot of light coming in. Bedroom number one, let's look. All three bedrooms are ground floor, such as this one. Like the interior design, we have the bed frame here as well with the nice patterns, bedside tables, the rug laid out, low TV setup there and your working desk and of course, an ensuite bathroom that we have to show you guys because it's pretty nice. Cupboards here, shall I open one, Patrick? Let's do it. Let's do it just for you guys to get an understanding. Voila, you have a lot of space to come and hang your clothes. And those two hangers are mine, so not, they're not staying in the property. Mirror right there, Patrick, maybe you wanna say hello? All right. And the bathroom, let's check it out. We have an open shower, one sink vanity with the drawers right underneath like this bronze tabs that are throughout the entire house and the natural stone vanity with the sunken in sink right here. And of course your toilet and all the towels are embroidered with swish. And of course, so are the soaps, etc. Nice little touch to everything. Now this bathroom also has a feature, which I'm gonna explain later, but this would be your shower, with the same natural stone backsplash on the side. This bathroom, as well as that bedroom, guide you out to your little garden area. I call it little, but it's actually over 3,000, or just under 3,000 square meters, so it's not really that little. And if you turn the camera, the swimming pool is right there, and it's super welcoming. But not yet. Let's first go back inside and show you two further bedrooms on this level. Let's go. 
I love the calcite creamy marble that's also laid out entirely here. Do we get a good look at it yet, Patrick? Everything. Yeah? This staircase leads to the main bedroom. We're coming to that later. First, this one. Let's go. Just behind me is the ensuite bathroom, cupboard spaces, and of course, another beautifully designed bedroom. I like the style in this house. It's not overwhelming yet, super fresh and clean. It's sort of a mix between contemporary with an infusion of classical elements. And it's very well displayed here. Behind Patrick, or in front of me, you also have a big picture window looking out at the botanic garden. And of course, a little working desk. I'm gonna just do that because time is running up. Time is running up for you guys to subscribe. Before we finish with this bedroom, we also have a little patio here, terrace area for you to enjoy. Maybe you want to step outside, Patrick? All right. Real quick, because that passageway leads you to the front of the house where the garden is and the swimming pool area. So is it the front or the back of the house? Well, this would be the, I would call it the front, right? Because it's facing forward. So you're always entering the back of the house? Correct. Right? Okay. Uh, I, I mean, know. let us know, guys, if we're right or if we're wrong. Regardless of that, you can already see the beautiful landscape garden. I mean, just this passageway laid out with the stones and the flowers and the plantations here is super nice. Tell me, Patrick. Nice tree. Yeah. I don't know which tree this is, but it could be a mango tree. But it could also not be it. I don't know. Let's continue. Now to the last bedroom on the floor, which is right there. But before we get there, Buster and Punch switches here in this brass coloring all throughout the entire house. And I just love the way they also make this little sound when you switch it on and off. Toggle switches, I think they're called. And obviously also have the control system here for the blinds, for the air conditioning, for everything that you need is also present here. And we have, if we jump into this one, Patrick, before we enter to the bedroom, your guest bathroom in the same style and design as we have seen before with the natural stone, one sink vanity, and the brass towel holder as well as the taps and fittings. And this is actually underneath the staircase. It's pretty neat. But you also have soft clothes in all the doors. Now, this would be the last bedroom on the ground floor in house number one. And once again, you can see that the style and design is throughout elegant, not overwhelming picture window, natural light coming in. Perfect. We have cupboards here and this bathroom. What I like about this one, you have a skylight above, so you are actually showering with natural light and with water, which is a double feature and it's spacious. And I love this brass handle, which is kind of the same as the toggle switches. We have seen one thing vanity set up here of the drawers set up underneath. Perfect, sums it up. We've seen three bedrooms until now. And I'll be taking this staircase up to show you the main bedroom, which is super nice and a little solarium on top of it. Let's go. I love how the main bedroom is kind of isolated, giving it much more privacy. I'm gonna close this door because right behind it, we have a pocket door that guides you into your walk-in closet. Nice illuminated, open cupboards and shelves, big mirror setup for you to check out your style. It's got everything you need. Let me close it real quick and show you the bathroom, which is also quite nice. We have the natural stone clad onto the walls, a bathtub, of course. Right here, we have a shower with a big window looking out to kind of this Zen garden, a toilet and this one sink vanity also with the same ceramic stone cladded even in the drawers the main bedroom which enjoys a style that is continuous as we have seen before there is mustard yellow and actual blue which we are seeing nicely displayed here of course this entire section the backdrop framed to subdivide the space of the wall it makes it a little bit more dynamic yeah everything in this continuous style and design we also have this little reading bench here Look at the luminosity coming in, it's absolutely insane. And you also get the views out. Now it's time for my shades. By the way, this color is, what is Squeaky. this? Squeaky. Huh? Squeaky. Squeaky color? 
Yeah, squeaky. I don't even think that exists. What is a squeaky collar? If you look at it, you want to squeak. Okay. <laughs> From here, we get to see the swimming pool and the entire garden area. We have just under 3,000 square meters. In front, we have Las Brisas Golf. You have this panoramic view of greenery and nature. And it's very private once you're down there as well. Fantastic, four different palm tree types. The landscape professional came and done all the work here. I'll explain more later. We still have a solarium to check out, so let's do it. This would be exclusively to be used for the main bedroom, I would say. And it's a nice little add-on to come for your morning coffee, just tank in the sun, or simply observe the beauty of the surrounding here. And that is it. We have come to the end of the four bedrooms in the main house. We're gonna be showing you the living room and kitchen, and then we're gonna head over to the second house, which is part of this property. You sometimes forget how hot it still is here in September. Ladies and gentlemen, we have 27 degrees. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful time of the year. And that's why people choose Marbella for the holidays, because it's really from March to November, amazing weather. Once again, we have the open shelving here, mesmerized by the vaulted ceiling with the wooden beams and this omnidirectional fireplace that kind of breaks the space and divides it into two because right behind it, we have this custom-made kitchen. Love the ceramic tiling here that's bookmatched in a waterfall feature. And of course, a little gift, a champagne from Swish. They always like to do things a little bit different and extra. Ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. Nice. We should drink it, Patrick, later. Anyways, what do you think? Yeah, let's get smashed <laughs> on one champagne bottle. Gagnau induction right here with the extractor nicely inbuilt. We were asked last tour what this magnetic thing is. Here you just switch it on to the places you want it to work and you kind of just operate this entire induction with this knob. We have drawers underneath, soft clothes, and inbuilt here, we have freezer and fridge. Also from Gaggenau, of course, cannot be missing. Here, the oven set up in the microwave. And here, hidden, we have another working station with the more industrial countertop here for your appliances and open shelving for your cups etc. So that sums it up. This kitchen also has the Evo line socket set up here. And if you move a little bit further, Patrick, an entire kitchen bar area just there extended from the main kitchen island. Nice light setup on above. And of course, another super vaulted ceiling above. Now, we also have this area, which of course cannot be missing in a home on this sort of price level. Let's look. This would be your pantry slash dirty kitchen, a sink setup. This, by the way, is super cool, blue puda. It's a water system. Gives you sparkling cold water, sparkling warm water. Choose whatever you want, press the button, fill it up. Amazing. Another fridge here. And in case you need to use the restroom, we have the setup here with a one sink vanity and a shower. It's another skylight illuminating the entire space. Wow, I think we're slowly coming to an end. Patrick, where are you going? This is like a separate entrance I yeah. wanted to show. Okay. Emphasize that once you come with your car, you can enter here. Your stuff can work discreetly in the back, prepare everything, it. and then you Okay, go right I'm already back here. In. Why don't we just show this olive tree real quick? I love olive trees. This one is over a hundred years old. And then you have this entire passageway, but I'll come to that later. Let's go back inside and take the other exit out to the terrace right there. Now, we are officially finished with house number one. There's house number two. Before, Patrick, look, there are two fronts that open up completely, giving you that sort of open view continuously. The dining area is just there, which we did not discuss, but you're seeing it in the detail shots right there. Nice glass table. And of course, also an accessibility out to your outdoor dining table to eat al fresco, nicely shaded with the pergola and further on another seating area. Here we have the swimming pool 
It's super inviting with the blue tiles. It's a salted swimming pool. They've just refilled with the salt for the machinery. And you get to already get a glimpse of the beauty of this garden. We have so many plants, so many flowers. Wow, love it. Yeah, and there, let's check it out together. To a perfect outdoor chill out area. You have the sun beds once again with the embroidered towels from Swish, who are the exclusive agency for this rental property and many more in case you are interested. And there, Patrick, I wanted to show that area. Nicely shaded as well. We have another chill couch area, an outdoor dining table and your entire bar setup with a barbecue function just there. I think these cells are really cool. Yeah. I like all these futures. You know, when they use them on, on terraces or features. outside Features. Sorry, so a features. Future is in the stock market. You can buy a future. Oh, I'm living in the future. <laughs> Something like that. This is the second house, which houses two bedrooms. And then a third little addition, which is going to be your uh, spa area, gym, sauna section, which is just adjacent to it as well. Now, this passageway here, as beautiful as it is, divides the two homes and it's also been placed with the same grass that continues in the square shapes and it's quite a nice little add-on. Let's go. What do you think, Patrick? Does nice. this look nice? Yeah, very symmetrically. Can you see La Concha nice. in the far? I do. Ah, they give me a little twist. Yeah, the peak is a little bit covered by clouds, but it should be right there. Oop. Nice. Come on, come closer, because here we are coming back to where we were just minutes ago with the dirty kitchen just there, this passageway leading to the second house. The far end, we have the garage for around four cars just there. And of course, this entire entry that we should go and have a look at now. As you mentioned, Patrick, very smartly, you park your car there and you can walk to different sections of the house without really interfering into anyone's privacy. And this door, by the way, is super cool. It has so many details carved into the wood. It's just a really Ferdinkum solid, bench-made door. Look at it. Have you, seen, you should do a detailed shot of the hinges of this door. The monstrous. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. This would be your lounge chill area. We once again have the same vaulted ceiling with the exposed wooden beams, L-shaped couch, Rug laid out right there and of course a little kitchenette here with your bar area. So it's kind of your independent little house to be quite frank. It's got everything you need and a bedroom right there with a bathroom. And to complete it, right there we have the last bedroom of this house making it six bedrooms that we have seen. Nice and spacious, once again illuminated. The style is throughout fantastic. We also have the bathroom, which is outside of the bedroom that you have seen in the detail shot or are currently seeing now. Yeah, I would choose this bedroom so you can just get up and run and jump into the swimming pool. Yeah, turn around. I mean, this is so close. And it's always been a dream to wake up in the morning, run out and jump into the pool and just enjoy life. Because that's what it's all about, by the way. So if you are looking for a vacation home, this one could be perfect for you. Contact Swish, they are listed in the description of today's video. And now we should continue the tour because there we still have something. Should we walk over the grass? Yeah, just a walk. Yeah, just, just go this way. Because right there is the living room we discussed and adjacent to it, we have the entire spa area. And here we get, oh, look at this beautiful flower here. Oh, yes. bush. Yeah, can, nice. yeah, bush flower. You have so many of them spread out through the entire garden. This must be one of the nicest gardens we have seen so far. Trampoline set up there. And here you would have your spa slash gym area. Rowing machine, bicycle machine, stepper, free weights. Big mirror set up. Patrick, turn around, say hello. Hi, guys. So, <laughs> what's up, boy? Patrick in the house. Here we have a sauna with walnut. Why do you always do this? Sauna? 
Yeah, I don't know why. It's all on Walnut wood in this one, Patrick, from America. I spent too much time with Scandinavians. Walnut wood from America. Present is it in the Or is it from Norway? It's from Norway. Norway? Norway? Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue because we have ice Okay, we, I, just, just a little side note. We're doing this joke because we have a few friends from Scandinavia and they all talk a certain way. So yeah, and no, we love no them. hard feelings there. Exactly. Iceberg marble here fitting if you want to ice yourself after your soda you've got a nice setup here have you noticed that the lights behind the marble yeah yeah right here yeah, yeah. at night you're going to probably see it even nicer just the edging is illuminated yes, and at the far end here what cannot be missing of course once in vanity setup once again the embroidered swish towels and the toilet and a pocket door and this door leads out to the back entry it's That's really so cool important. that everyone is like doing these embroidments now in towels and well, bathrobes honest, and everything. You say everyone, but I don't really know of anyone that does it apart from them. Oh no, there's some, a few houses we have filmed there were embroidments as well. Ah, from Swish, yes. Yeah. Staircase leads up to another area where you can have three bedrooms or three beds laid out. Let's have a look. Yep, here we are. The last room of the house yoga room, chill room, actually do whatever you want. You have pull-out beds here. I don't know how this works. Okay, wait, it goes like this. Yeah, just pull it out, yeah. exactly. Down, 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 and then... Yeah. So basically, this place would be the bedroom for free children who want to be more independent. Or for friends who drink too much. Friends who drink too much or the ones who snore, they sleep here. So you have three of them that just come out. And of course, this stunning view that we have here. Nice terrace to enjoy the views from, the golf up front, the palm trees, the nature. Stunning. Now, let's go back downstairs to finish the tour off. So guys, this was another Mario Brothers production. Thanks to the exclusive lister, Swish, who have some of the most epic rental homes here in Marbella for you to come and enjoy a vacation like none other with super luxurious amenities and top service by the team of Swish. And this once again was a stunning home and I have to say I'm super thankful and grateful to have toured it. Where are you going Patrick? <laughs> Nowhere. You stop hey? there. Well, there. I don't know where to go. No, you stop there. Say goodbye. All right. Bye guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Peace. Last one to you, Patrick. My God, this guy talks too much. All right, guys, thank you very much again. Like and subscribe and follow us for more content to come up sooner than later. Oh, wow, look at this one. You see it? Massive. They're black bees, very ancient type. Sorry, man. <laughs>